of a November favorites, I will be doing a November beauty haul this month because recently I just uploaded my current favorites video a couple of weeks ago onto my channel so you can go check that out if you want to know my current favorites and also because I have a freaking huge beauty haul to share with you guys. I haven't done a beauty haul in so long. Like I've done haul videos that includes beauty products but just a sole beauty product haul that's probably the first time this year. So I guess it's about time. I will be mentioning the products brand by brand so I guess it's easier for me to categorize these products and also easier for you to check out what products I have down the description box below. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get cracking. So the first item I got is this lipstick from NYX and this is their Lip Smacking Fun Colors lipstick in the shade LSS509 Narcissus. 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 <laughs> Okay, I do like this color a lot, but I feel like it doesn't really match my skin tone because I'm slightly dark. It's it's probably gonna match like fairer girls skin tone because it's kind of light as well. So it's kind of too light for my liking. It is a very very basic lipstick. I think it's like nine bucks or something. So the quality it's there, but it's not really long lasting or anything. It's quite a handy lipstick though. I mean, it's only nine bucks and it does the work. Um, you might just need to redraw it a couple of times during the day, but it's fine. The next item that I got is this butter lipstick, and you might have already seen it in my couple of other vlogs um, because I mention it quite a lot. I really love this lipstick. This is the BSLB BLS09 Candy Buttons Bonbons, and this is just a very neutral shade. I mention it in my current favorites vlog and my current frequently used makeup vlog, and my get ready with me vlog. I just use it all the time. It's very very nice. I'm a very neutral nude lip kind of person so this is definitely one of my favorite. The formula is very nice. It's very creamy. It's very smooth. It's a butter lipstick so obviously it is moisturizing. It doesn't dry out during the day or anything um, but for longevity I don't think it lasts very long especially when you're eating. It's definitely gone right after that. Um, but other than that, I really like the color and the texture of it. So because it's the Christmas season, Sephora has a lot of gift sets available from different brands. So I picked these up and this is NYX Butter Lipstick and it is their bombshell set. In this trio, it has the shade BLS11 which is licorice. This shade is a very dark purple-ish shade which I thought was very suitable for the winter season. As usual, the formula is very very buttery, it's very creamy and not only that it is also quite pigmented because I guess it's a dark shade after all. Um, the second shade is BLS17 and it's called Pops. This is more like a nude shade which I personally really like. I feel like it's the nicer shade in this trio. Um, it's basically a very very nude color. It's more of a plum. It has a little bit of a plumpy tone to it. It's um, definitely not more of a pinky shade. Um, I feel like it looks very 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 nude but um, there's two color to it. It's not really like completely skin color which is why I really like it. The next shade is BLS19 Big Cherry. This is just a really bright pop of red. It is what I like to call the, just the basic red lipstick that everyone should have. This shade is very pretty as well for the fall and winter season. So I'm pretty sure NYX is trying to go towards the autumn trend in this trio. The next item from NYX is this jumbo eye pencil and I got one of these jumbo eye pencil in 611 yogurt and that was a peachy shimmery shade and I'm really loving these jumbo eye pencil. They just make such a good base for my eyeshadow and they just make the colors pop and look so saturated. And other than that, it still has a hint of shimmer to it which is very very nice. So I picked this new shade up um, last month and this is the 625 Smarkle, Smarkle, Sparkle Nude. So Sparkle Nude is more of a gold shimmer color which I thought would be very nice as a base for more gold and bronze based 
um, eyeshadow color. Small gold compared to yogurt, which is a more peachy and coral color, which is great for pink um, eyeshadow. <laughs> Moving on to the next brand I'll be talking about is Topshop and Topshop was having a sale which is why I got my very first Topshop makeup and that is their lipstick. Um, this is the very usual range lipstick in the shade Trigger. I've mentioned this lipstick in a couple of my recent vlogs so you can go check that out. Basically it is a very cranberry-ish red and it's a very dark red as well which I thought was very suitable for my skin tone because I'm slightly dark so I don't think that um, you know really bright lipstick color actually matches me so I prefer like a warm tone lipstick compared to a cool tone one. The color is very pigmented and it's also very beautiful so if you are not really in the mood for a full-on dark lip you can just apply a little bit of this and then blend it out the next top shop makeup that i got is this glow stick and this one i got it in the shade spotlight i am really loving this because it is so easy to apply easy to blend and it looks very very pretty it has this little hint of coral shade to it and i just really am into like coral shades tones so I'm really loving this and because this is a glow stick it has the slightest hint of shimmer which is very very pretty and it just hits the light prettily which is why I am loving it so much makeup I got is a blush from Topshop and this was more of a random buy but I'm really liking the shade of it. This is um, Topshop's blush in the shade Ortha. Kind of berry tone pink color which I don't have and it's just so pretty because it's slightly dark but I think it will suit me because you know I'm slightly dark as well so I think this plumpy color would just be really pretty for some like occasions and it also has a metallic sheen to it if i'm not wrong this is from top shots metallic range and so basically it has a little bit metallic sheen to it and this is a cream blusher which is what i am really quite into right now because i have been using the glow stick which is a cream blusher and it really blends out like seamlessly and really pretty and it looks so natural so I've been loving cream blushes a lot next I got a nail polish and this one's called Aurora it is this really pretty gold greenish blue shade and with a little like sparkle to it and what I like about this is that it changes colors with the light like in darker areas it looks like a green kind of like an aqua green blue shade and in the light it looks gold and it has sparkle to it but it also removes very easily the next makeup that i got is this glow pot i guess it's just called glow it's probably a highlighter but um this one has a shade to it i think they have it in white but i got it in the shade glow gleam glow gleam i think it's called gleam <laughs> It has a gold bronzy shimmer to it. It feels like a very very soft mousse and it blends out really prettily. I'm just going to show you guys here. I'm not sure if you're able to tell but I'm really into like sparkly and like gold stuff recently so this is just perfect and I feel like this is also great for um, eye makeup bases and you can also use it as a highlight you can basically apply this any way you want so, yeah. so the next brand I'll be talking about is Stila and I got this gift set from Sephora and it's just freaking cheap because it's like 25 bucks for three products with an additional headband so it's very very worth it if you like the shades inside just go get it because just one of the blushes is like 30 35 bucks and this whole thing is like 25 so the first item in this gift set is this blusher and this is Dila's blusher in magnolia this is also a plumpy-ish color. It looks very, very mature. Compared to the Topshop one, it's 
obviously not metallic at all and it's also more on the nude side compared to uh, the top shots one which is a little bit more purple tone as you can see the Stila one is also a little bit more darker and it's also a cream blusher which is great I'm just going to swatch this over here I guess <laughs> I'm also going to swatch all side beside it so you can see the comparison. The next product is Stila's Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in Lionfish. This is a dark bronze color with a shimmer. Stila has some like matte ones and it has like some shimmer ones. So this is their shimmery eyeliner and this is more of a bronzy color. I'm just going to draw it probably here I guess. It's like a dark brown but it definitely has some shimmer to it compared to I think they have another shade called Espresso that's a dark brown matte dark brown the next product is their lip glaze this is in the shade of Gleam um, it's just a uh, lip gloss I guess um, I've not tried it out it looks pretty confusing to me but I think you just turn the bottom part and the product will come up onto the brush that is attached to the lip gloss so in the set, Stila gives a free headband and it just looks like that. It's a very very simple jeweled headband which I don't really like because I tried it on and it got stuck onto my hair so I'm kind of like Bleh. But it does look very pretty and it's not focusing. <laughs> Okay, it's a very small thing to focus. So the next brand is a Korean brand and it is Lip Hop and this is quite hard to find online. It's even harder to do like research on it because it just doesn't show up on the web. But I got it from Boogie Street and this is their highlight and contour package set. Basically it looks like this and it has the highlighter and the bronzer together side by side. To me, I feel like this is really a cakey powder. It might be able to tell some of the brown shades has already moved to the highlighter portion and it's kind of like all over the package and it's always staining the mirror which is very annoying. I feel like the highlighter is quite meh, like it's just a white powder and you can't really tell whether it's on your skin or not. Um, whether it highlights or not, I don't know but I still use it. Um, I don't know, it's just the thought that counts I guess. And for the bronzer, it is very 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 pigmented and very hard to blend so that is definitely a con because you wouldn't want your bronzer to be like one brown patch on your face. So. It's definitely a con but it's still blendable and since I got it, I have been using it so I wouldn't complain much. It's just a whatever bronzer. It's really cheap as well. 13 bucks after discount so um, it's doable but it's not the best and if you want a good bronzer, I definitely will not recommend this. Uh, next up, I got a foundation from Too Faced. This is their Cocoa Powder Foundation. I wanted to go for the Prime and Polars but they didn't have stock anywhere. Like the girl that I called, she said she have checked the entire Singapore like Sephora stores and they don't have any stocks for the Prime and Polars foundation. So uh, even Too Faced website is out of stock anyway so um, I decided to go for this cocoa powder foundation because I tried and it feels as smooth as the Prime and Polish foundation. Uh, as that, the Prime, Prime and Polish press powder is a pressed powder to set your makeup and this on the other hand is a foundation and on the back of the box it says medium to full coverage. I have not used this yet so I'm very very anticipating it um, but for now I can only let you know like 
the description of the product. So it looks like that. Kind of have a white mirror and then um, the packaging that has a gold rim around the powder itself. Lift that part out and you will find a little pink cushion which is a very basic cushion which I honestly am quite disappointed. There is no brand on the cushion itself. Because it has cocoa inside, uh, it smells like cocoa. I'm not sure if I'm loving it because I just, I don't know, it just, it just makes me feel like I'm putting like cocoa powder on my face, which is really odd. And so I'm not sure if I will like it yet, but maybe for the coverage, I might like it. So we'll see if it ends up in my favorites video one day. The next brand is Urban Decay. And for all these years, I have always wanted a naked palette. And I finally got it, like just a few days ago. And I got the Naked Palette 2. I honestly do not like the Naked Palette 3 because I use only neutral tones, like warm tones. So I am really digging Naked 1 and Naked 2 palettes. So Naked 3 was definitely not something that I will buy in the future. But I figured out that a lot of the shades in Naked and Naked 2 can be really similar. So um, just comparing both palettes, I have decided that I will use all the shades in Naked 2 compared to Naked 1. Because I like all the shades in Naked palette except for the two shades which are like a bluish grey shade which is definitely not something that I will wear. Last brand I'm going to mention is Tarte. And I love Tarte. Um, cosmetic. I am using their Amazonian clay um, concealer which I really am loving and enjoying. So I went to Tarte the other day and I got this. <laughs> this is Tarte's Bon Voyage set. Gift set. This is one of their holiday 2014 holiday collection. It comes in this gold and purple-ish makeup bag which has really cute tassels at the zip. What I like about this makeup bag is that it is really compact yet it's very wide. It's very big but it's still compact which is great for traveling. So opening up the makeup bag, you can see all these products lined up here. And they also have an eyeshadow palette on top here which contains 20? 12? 20? 20, 20 full size Amazonian clay eyeshadows and I'll show you guys the shades later on but just focus on this portion here first. The first one is a lip tint in the shade Romantic. This is also another quite coral-y natural looking shade. I'm just going to swatch on my hand. There. It glides on smoothly. I have once tried Tarte's lip tint and I love it because it is so pigmented and it's also very very moisturizing. The second product is a lip gloss. I'm just gonna get it out. Here is the lip gloss and this shade kind of complements the previous lip tint so I guess it's you know it's a whole package. This is in the shade Visionary. The next item is Tarte's mascara. This is their famous Lights Camera Lashes mascara and I have tried the mascara once. Um, I had the little deluxe size one as well. So I have been really liking it. I think I have mentioned it in one of my favorites videos. So I'm glad to have it again. Next is quite exciting for me. It is a cheek stain which in other words a cream blusher. This is in this shade. <laughs> And it kind of complements the whole look with the lip gloss and the teen shade. I think it's quite a dull color, if I'm not wrong, if you are slightly dark. But I haven't tried it out yet, so I have no idea. But the shade looks really pretty. I kind of prefer shades like this compared to really pinky ones. The next item is their Maracuja Oil. And I actually got this in the full size, so I think it's very handy to have a smaller one. A smaller size like this um, because if I run out I can just refill and this oil has been amazing. I've been using it for many many months right now and I only use two drops every night because I think it's kind of over hydrating if you use it in the daytime but I like to use it at night. I kind of stopped using it because it's in my sister's room so I'm kind of lazy to go there and use it every night um, but I'm glad that I have a smaller version right now so I can even bring it out with me to travel or I can just use it in my own room. 
The next item is Tarte Smooth Operator. It is their Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder and I'm very excited to use this because I have touched their press powder version and I really like it so I'm excited to try this one out and then this one just looks like that. It's their deluxe size one as well. Moving on to the more exciting bit, the eyeshadow palette that comes with the set. The packaging goes very well with the entire team. Um, it also has the like this swirly pattern um, and it's also like purple and gold. It feels like it's just made out of cardboard but I like it because um, the open and close is uh, magnetic which means it's very secure but very easy to open as well so I like that this is magnetic and it's also very slim and compact and extremely lightweight has a total of 20 shades here and I really think that the shades are very workable um, like I mentioned I use a lot of warm tones so just looking at it you know that a lot of these tones are just warm tones I'm traveling next week so chances are I'm just going to bring this eyeshadow palette because it is the most compact, easiest to travel with and has all the essential eyeshadow colors in the palette. Okay, the last item is also from Tarte. It comes with the set but um, it's only exclusively for Sephora black card holders so um, I didn't get to choose it but I still love it. It is Tarte's Skinny Smoother Eyes. Skinny Smolder Eyes Amazonian Clay Waterproof Liner. This is a pencil liner. It is in the shade Slate, which is a dark grey color. I'm just going to draw it right here. As you can see, it just glides on really smoothly. It's really soft, so I wouldn't recommend you to just like poke it on your eye because it's probably going to smash it. I think it's really quite fragile and it's very blendable. It has a smudge stick on the other side. So this is how it kind of looks like. I'm sorry I didn't blend it properly. But this is kind of like how it looks like when blended out. Um, it's just a very dark grey colour which is a change because I've always used either brown or black eyeliners. I've never used a grey eyeliner. So... I'm also looking forward to using this. So that's the end of my beauty haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And just a shout out, it's already December. I'm getting so hyped up for Christmas. I already have like Christmas tree in my room. All the Christmas decorations up already. So I'm really excited for December. I do have quite some events. So I hope I will be vlogging more often. And that's it. I will be signing off right now. Bye.